Hello, boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new review. This time we're reviewing Luke Cage Season 1. Anything Marvel has been a pleasure of mine for a long time now. When I found out that Netflix was going to be making five different series of Marvel characters, I was excited. Even better was that I had no idea who any of the characters were, which means it was going to be something new and something I haven't seen before. Anyway, it's time for a review. We follow the life of Carl Lucas, a prison escapist who managed to escape with an, who managed to escape when an explosion happened after he was partaking in an experiment. In traditional superhero terms, after the experiment failed or a success, depending on how you see it, he comes out as a different person. He comes out as Luke Cage. After the experiment, Luke Cage finds that he has a few new powers, such as super strength and stamina, and being very resistant to physical injury basically means he can't be hurt. He lives in a place called Harlem. He's trying to stay alone, but after the person who took him in and gave him a new life is killed, he's only to get his payback on his behalf. It is while he's doing this that Cottonmouth, the gang's leader, hears about this and wants to have Luke Cage killed. It is from here that Luke Cage and Cottonmouth are basically in war with each other to see who's going to be left in Harlem. Personally for me, I think T DC has the TV series down to perfection, aka The Flash and Arrow. Marvel have got the movies down to perfection, aka Avengers and Captain America Civil War and all the newest releases. But it's been some time since I last saw a Marvel TV show, the last one being the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So when I first started watching Luke Cage, I wasn't expecting anything amazing. But when I got into it after the third episode, I was hooked. I spent the last two days finishing the series and I have loved it. The setting of the series is set around a gang life and how they go for around their business, especially now with Luke Cage being around, and you never know if he's going to stop you or not notice what is going to happen. It seems to take people a long time to realise that he's bulletproof, especially when they're a group using machine guns against him, and not a single bullet is hurting him. Cottonmouth also owns a club, which is basically his headquarters, and at the club he has got his live musician who's playing a mixture of smooth jazz and hip-hop. You may get used to this sort of music as all you'll hear throughout the series. Even in parts where the scene is not set in the club, if there is music being played then it's most likely going to be one of these two genres. The range of settings that we get during the series is great, it means you won't ever get bored, especially if the only place that seems to get repeated a lot is Harlem Paradise, which is Cottonmouth's club, Pops Barber and the police station. Being shown the numerous different settings shows just how far the range Cottonmouth's gang has, how far Luke Cage has got to go be to be able to stop everyone and make sure Harlem is a place where everyone wants to live. I'm unsure about the acting, don't get me wrong, I think everyone in the series did a good job, I, I just think either different actors could have been used or people could have improved their performances. The only actor who I think did a great job was Simone Misik who plays Misty. Everyone seemed to have the same phrase throughout the series even if they were happy or angry. Other than Misty who when she was pissed off you could tell she was pissed. I'm looking forward to season 2 as season 1 was left in a cliffhanger and a few unanswered questions. I recommend that if people have not watched this season go and give it a go and have a look at what Marvel can do with a TV series. Anyway this has been Aaron Marsal, I'll see you in the next one, bye guys.